hey what to this so just from looking at this computer desktop this Acer laptop looks like it's running Windows 7 but it's not well yes it does look and function like Windows 7 it's not Windows 7 if we go into Winver you can see yes it does say Windows 7 Ultimate but version 21H2 and that's a Windows 10 build number so no this is Windows 10 looking like Windows 7 so yeah that's what we're doing today we're making Windows 10 look like Windows 7 with the transformation pack that's on this um, 4 gigabyte Toshiba SD card so I'm gonna slide that over there bring in the main star of the show which is the HP thing that has been featured on other videos before so anyway I'm gonna spam that F9 key Huh? What? Okay, guess my USB stick is not um working. I'm gonna unplug and replug it and reboot. Okay, nice. USB. So this will load into the setup. And uh yeah. All right, here we go, we're in the setup. So I'm gonna put it on in English World and put it on um, United Kingdom. Next, install. I've gone through the setup like millions of times. Here we go. Uh, Windows 10, Enterprise, LTSC. Yup, that's what I want. Uh, accept, custom. Mm. I even doing oh there we go I cleaned it hopefully there was nothing on that drive well if there was it's probably in another location or something I would not store anything on this computer anyway flipping phone All right, so one, we have everything updated. If we go into Winver, you can see that our build number is 19044.4780. Same build number as that over there. And I, uh, yeah. So I think we're safe to start the transformation. So I, uh, yep, install transformation pack. I, well, we got the Windows 7 Windows updates are available. I don't care. Uh, yep, transform now. Yes, I accept. Next. Oh, what have I just clicked on? Um, I want it to look like Windows 7 Ultimate, so I want the Windows 7 Ultimate branding. The start is back. Yep. Keep both. Yes. Oh, somewhat broken. Okay. Okay, I believe we're all good. I have selected everything that I want. So, transform. That's all the information we need right now. Your computer will restart several times during the transformation. Okay, so let's just let it do its thing. And in the meantime, start time lapse. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Here we go. This is the transformation that I've been looking for. And just like the start of the video, 
it says Windows 7 Ultimate version 21H2, and this looks exactly like Windows 7. Like, it's absolutely crazy. If I open up Firefox, it won't have Aero, but you see this. So, yeah, this is actually really cool. Um, there's a taskbar tweaker in here as well. This is how he does it. So, yeah, this looks... I've already exposed... Oh, um, hide, hide, hide. I have already experimented with this previously on other computers, but this just feels the best. It's just so snappy. It's just so how Windows 7 should... What's Windhawk? I was about to say, it just feels so snappy. It just feels so... Yeah, because... Um, I'm using an SSD... So yeah, oh my gosh, here's all the mods. Oh, ho, ho, Windhawk. Nice. So yeah, now it's time to, oh, and look at, oh, gadget. I clicked on personalize. Well, let's put on just a dark mode because there's a dark mode. Oh, that actually didn't take that long at all. So let's apply the um the wallpaper I had. Set on oh, even as the fade. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's um put there and that. My gosh, this looks so good! Get more themes online, opens up an Internet Explorer. Okay, uh, close everything, close everything. So we've got Italy, landscapes, architecture, characters, nature, scenes, and United States. Huh. Windows 7 Basic is in here, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it as theme one just so i have it and then i'm gonna apply basic does it have the windows 7 basic theme okay it's not the windows 7 basic that i thought it was windows classic yeah this just looks like bad Basic looks like the Eero mode in a Windows 8 beta that I don't even know what it is. There we go, we're, we're back. Oh, and the background just went, just went. Gonna need to reset it. There we go. So yeah, oh, gosh, look at the old Internet Explorer icon. And look at my profile picture. It just looks... Everything looks amazing. So if you have a computer like this, just running Windows 10, 21 or 22H2, this also works on 22H2, but I'm doing 21H2 because it works better. Then go check out the DeviantArt link, which will be in the description if I'm not, you know, lazy and forget to put things in the description. Well, we're back on the desktop and this pack is just amazing. If you want to check it out, then the DeviantArt link, because this is hosted on DeviantArt, you can download it in the description. So yeah, this is just absolutely... We can go to Firefox, like, like before, and it doesn't have Aero because you need, um... Oh, the sounds are different. So these need to just be different. There's so many places where this pack can improve on, but... Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. And I'll see you in my next upload.